Hello children, today I'm here to teach you chapter 17 in your textbook, that's solids. So in this lesson, we are prepared models of cube, cuboid, regular, tetrahedron and identify and state the shapes of the faces of these solids and the number of faces, edges and vertices each solid has. And also we create various nets to prepare models of the above mentioned solids and create new compound solids with these models. So we'll see what are the things we need to learn in this lesson. Look at these shapes, a concrete post, a log, half a bundle of jaggery, a putt, a die, several marbles, a brick. So what are those? Those are all 3D shapes. So we call these are solids, objects that they have definite shape. Marbles, spherical shape. Here, a die is a cuboid, cube shape. And this one similar to a cylinder. And here, concrete post also looks like cylindrical shape. So, we'll talk about these two shapes in this lesson. Shape like a die and a brick. Write down solids in the environment. So what are the solids that we saw? Log. What else? Concrete post. Glass ball. What else? What are the other shapes? Bottles, stones, tins. You get different solids in the environment. Every solid has out surface, surface which is called the surface of the solid. Now, when you take matchstick box, what are the surfaces you see? So, have you seen? Matchstick box is like this. So, what are the surfaces you can get? So, you get one face rectangle. Sometimes this side, you can get a square shape. So, in a matchstick box, you can get either rectangles, or square shape surfaces. Squares. All the surface parts of the matchstick box are plane surfaces. So when you take this one, so these are called plane. So this is a plane, this is another plane. So all these are plane. So learn these words. So we call these planes are Faces. So, how many faces are there? So, count and see. Up, down, this side, and this side. All together, four. And front and back. How many sides? There are six sides. So, there are six faces in a matchstick box. Now, think about a pencil which is not sharpened. So you get something like this shape. Okay, so how many plane faces are there? So when you take one and the other end, you get two faces. So how many plane faces? You get two. How many curved surfaces? So around that you get one curved surface. So here this is Think about a glass ball, number of plane faces. When you take a ball, you don't get plane faces. So you only get curved 
face. One curved face. So zero plane faces and one curved face. Half of an orange. Half of an orange. Try to draw that. Something like this. So number of curved faces. So you get one here and number of plane faces. You get one plane face. That's a circular shape. So that's another one. Take a cement block. So cement block is also like a matchstick box. So something like this. How many faces? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six faces are there. Shoe box, similar to this one. So how many faces are there? Same thing. Number of faces you get. Six. Number of curved faces. In a shoe box, you can't see any curved surfaces. So we can write zero curved surfaces are there. Now we'll look at what are edges. Edges. In a matchstick box, a boundary which two faces meet is called an edge. Look at this one. Think about the upper surface and this surface. So you get the intersecting point of this is this. So we call this line is an edge. These are rectilinear and called as straight edges. So you get straight edges. So look at this one. So think about this is the matchstick box. So we call these are edges. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then here, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So, how many straight edges in a matchstick box? You get twelve edges, are there? Now look at this question, number of straight edges in a half a line. So this is half of a line. So count, when you take this one, we call this is a curved edge. It's not straight. And you get plane face and this is the curved face. So number of straight edges in a half a line. Do you get any straight edges? No. So you can write zero. It has a plane face and a curved face. Therefore, it contains curved edge, not a straight edge. Now we'll look at what are vertices. In a matchstick box, three edges meet is called a vertex. So take this one. Think about this is matchstick box. Three edges meet. This is one, two and three. So this point we call a vertex point. So you get several vertices. So we'll look at this diagram. So this is one edge. This is another edge. This is third one. So this is a vertex point. So singular we call vertex, plural vertices. So how many vertices are there? So we'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight vertices are there in a matchstick box. So we can write how many vertices in a matchstick box? There are eight vertices. Look at this diagram. So this is the pencil without sharpening. The figure shows a pencil which is not sharpened. How many vertices are there? Do you get any vertices? So this is a curved edge. This is another curved edge. So th this is a curved surface. So you are not getting any vertex points. So how many vertices are there? You can say zero. How many curved edges are there? 
So how many? So this is one curved edge and this is another curved edge. So you get two curved edges. How many vertices in a half of a line? So we saw that when you take half of a line like this, how many vertex points are there? You don't get any. So you can say zero vertices. In a glass ball, that's a spherical shape. How many faces are there? So you get only one face. But no plain faces. So faces we normally say plain faces. So we can say plain faces zero, but curved faces one. How many edges are there? You don't get any edges or vertices. So here zero, zero. So when you take a ball, a spherical shape, it does not have any vertices, edges or Faces. faces means plain faces, not the curved faces. So you only get one curved surface. Now we'll take the first solid that you need to know, a cube. Have you seen a cube? Cube has all side lengths equal. So I'll show you a cube. This is a cube. So this length, this length, all these lengths are equal. So when you take the cube, we need to identify how many faces, how many vertices and how many edges are there. So how you find out faces? So here up, down, front, back and two sides. So how many are together? So six faces are there. So in a cube you get six faces. How many edges are there? So you can count one, two, three like that but with this diagram it's easy to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12. So 12 edges are there and how many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and the other side another 4. 4 and 4 you get 8. So in this diagram if I mark all the vertices 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, eight vertices are there. So in a cube, you need to know how many faces. Six faces are there. How many edges? Twelve. How many vertices are there? You get eight. Now we'll take the shape cuboid. So cuboid is the shape that we discussed before. Matchstick box. So similar to this one. So you get like cube, only difference is the sides are not the same. All sides are not the same, only opposite sides are equal. So when you take a cuboid similar to cube, you get same number of faces, same number of edges and same number of vertices. So how many faces are there? You get up, down right, left and front, back. So altogether six faces are there. How many edges? You can mark it like before in a cube we got how many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve edges are there and vertices. How many points are there? Same as cube. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 vertices are there. 
Now we'll talk about regular tetrahedron. What is regular tetrahedron? Regular means all sides are equal. Take six equal length equal sticks and join the sides using clay balls as follows. So six equal lengths fixed like this. These are clay balls. So this is called a regular tetrahedron. Have you seen that? So you can make it. So when you do that, you get something like this. So this is one clay ball here, here, here and here. So you get faces. So now we'll see how many faces, vertices and edges are there. So the above solid has four equilateral triangles. Count one, two and three and down one, four. So four equilateral triangles and we call this is as regular tetrahedron. Regular means all lengths are equal. So how many faces and how many edges are there? So we'll count and see. So how to make a regular tetrahedron? You take four equilateral triangles like this. So you make, so all these are equilateral triangles. All lengths are equal. So use this net to create the regular tetrahedron. So what you have to do? You fold it along these lines. So when you fold it, you get this point and this point and this point as one vertex point. So these are the edges. So you have to fold along those edges. In a B C equilateral triangle, side length is 20. So this whole thing is 20 centimeters. PQR are midpoints of BC, AC and AB. So all these are midpoints. Fold along PQ here and QR and PR and construct the regular tetrahedron. The shaded triangle is the base of the tetrahedron. So when you make it, this is the base. So this is when you take that side, PQR is there. So that's the base. Write down the length of one side. So if the whole length is 20, so what is half of that? 10. So each side is 10 centimeters. So in the regular tetrahedron, one side is 10 centimeters. Look at this figure. Using this net, we can construct a regular tetrahedron. That means all these lengths are equal. So, one, two, three, four. Four faces, four equilateral triangles. Write down the length of the tetrahedron. When you fold it, what you get? The whole length is 20 divided into two equal parts. So one part is 20 divided by 2, 10 centimeters. So length of the tetrahedron becomes 10 centimeters. Look at this one, a cube. So cube means how many faces? Six faces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All are squares. This is a net to construct a cube. Fold along the broken lines to create the cube. So here you have to fold along these lines here also you have to fold it and put it up so if this is the base this is the upper surface and this is the bottom one the cube and the, the shaded square is the base if this is base you can get this is as the upper face cuboid what's the net so when you take the Cuboid, you get rectangles. 
it can be squares or these two shapes either squares or rectangles sometimes you get squares sometimes rectangles all rectangles so if you take this as the base or bottom this part becomes the top when you fold it so you have to fold it along these lines broken lines this is a net to construct a cuboid fold along the broken lines to create the cuboid and the shaded rectangle are the bottom and the top of the cuboid how many faces are there in a cuboid we count we counted before one two three four five six six faces are there are the opposite sides of the cuboid equal in length this side and this side yes in a cuboid so you get rectangles and these opposite sides the bottom one same rectangle you are getting bottom and top and these two same and these two same yes opposite sides are normally you get the same length so how many faces are there we counted before six faces 12 edges and eight vertices are there in a cuboid now look at this one what is the solid you get when you connect two cubes with side length 10 so we'll check it out so take a cube so take a cube and another cube so connect two cubes with side length 10 so think about you are connecting two cubes like this so what you get so you get something like this so each length each length is 10 centimeters so this is 10 this is 10 and here all these lengths are 10 centimeters all are equal okay now what is the solid you get now look at carefully now it becomes a cuboid when you connect two cubes together you get a cuboid length of the solid so what's the new length so here you get 10 plus 10 20 centimeters breadth of the solid so this is breadth still 10 centimeters and what's the height height is here height is also 10 centimeters combining eight cubes with side length 12 construct a large cube find the length of one side so now eight cubes so we'll try to connect eight two three four five six seven eight i need eight cubes so we'll check what you get so take one and i'll connect this one here and another one i can put on top of that And this one, I can keep like that. So you, this is just four. So you get another cube when you connect four. So we need to connect another four and make a cube not a cuboid so 
that's 4. Now we'll take the other 4 and try to fix it here. So I need, I'll put it here. and put this one on top and another one here. So what is the shape? That's a big cube. So you get a cube and how many cubes we connected? Each one 12, 12 centimeter length. So this is 12, 12. Here also two cubes are there this way. So 12 and 12. Height also two cubes, 12 and 12. So now you get a big cube. So find the length of one side. What's the length? 12 and 12. So you get 24 centimeters as the length of one side. Combine two tetrahedrons together and construct a solid. So you have to think about you take two of same thing and paste it here. So what do you think? Find the number of faces, number of edges and number of vertices. When you take one, we get four faces. How many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six edges. And how many vertices? One, two, three, four. If it's one. Now we'll combine two. So we can draw a diagram. So here, this is how you can draw a diagram. You can draw. A triangle first and then mark a point up and mark a point down and connect these lines so that's a two tetrahedrons so something like that so this is not counted because it's attached to the other one so only you get outer faces so in this figure how many faces are there so one two three and down three three and three you get six find the number of edges one two three so likewise you get one two three down and what about around this so three and three six and this way one, two, three. So how many edges all together? Three plus three plus three. You get nine. Find the number of vertices. One, two, three, four. And then the bottom one, five. So then it becomes six faces, nine what is nine edges now here you can count from here one two three four five six seven eight nine and how many vertices you can count from here one two three four and five five vertices are there now we'll try to fill in the blanks. Now you know several solids. Cube, cuboid and regular tetrahedron. So in cube, what's the shape of faces? Just squares. Number of faces we found that 6. Number of edges 12. And number of vertices that's 8. Cuboid, you get rectangles or squares. Rectangles or you can get squares as well. The same number of faces, 
edges and vertices. So cube and cuboid, same thing. Regular tetrahedron, that's all you get equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangles. So how many faces are there? One, two, three, and bottom four. Four faces. And how many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six edges. And how many vertices? Think about one, two, three, four. So you can draw and figure it out. I'll show you an easy way to draw all these figures. Cube. How you draw a cube? You draw two squares like this and connect. One, two, three, four. That's a cube. If you want a cuboid, you draw two rectangles like this and try to connect. Connect this. Then how you draw a regular tetrahedron? You draw a triangle like this and mark a point and then connect. So that's a regular tetrahedron. From that you can figure out number of faces, edges and vertices. Now we we'll look at examples and exercises in your textbook. The figure illustrates a part of a log which has been split into two. Write down separately. The number of flat surface parts. Flat surface. Curved surface parts. Curved surface. Straight edges. And we need to give curved edges and vertices. So we'll try to identify. So you get flat surfaces. You can get this one, this one and this one. You can write as three. Curved surface. Curved. So here when you take this one, it's a curved surface. So you can take one curved surface is there, straight edge, straight edges, one, two, three, four, you can take four straight edges and curved edges, this one I can take as curved edge, one and the other side. And vertices. So this is a vertex point. One, two, three, four. You can take four. Four vertices are there. Exercise 17.1. Complete the following table by considering the number of edges, vertices, and surface parts. Each solid consists of figure A to E. So this is A is a cube. Number of faces, we know six faces are there. Number of curved surface parts. So all are plane surfaces in a cube. So zero curved surfaces. Number of straight edges, we know that that's 12. 12 straight edges, number of curved edges. So you don't get anything, that's zero. And number of vertices, we found that's eight. B is a cuboid. Cuboid shape, you get the same thing as Q. Six faces, zero curved surface, 12 edges, and zero curved edges, and eight vertices. What about C? C is a cylinder. Tin, tin shape is a cylindrical shape. So how many 
faces are there. One, two. You can't take the curved surface. So two. Two faces are there. And curved surface, you get one curved surface. And how many straight edges? So you don't get any straight edges. Zero. And number of curved edges, yes, we get here and bottom one, you get two. And how many vertices? You are not getting any vertices, so zero. Now take the pencil that is not sharpened. So how many faces are there? So you get two, one, two. This is similar to the cylinder. So two and curved surface parts, you get one, no straight edges and two curved edges, zero vertices. Now take a ball, so a spherical shape, sphere. Number of faces, you don't get plain faces, so zero. Number of curved surface parts, so that's just one. And no edges, no curved edges and no vertices or zeros and just you get one curved surface. Exercise 17.2 from the following figures, select the nets that you can be used to create cubes and draw them in your exercise book. So think about the first one. So you can fold it, fold it like this and you can create a cube from this. So six squares are there. So we'll try to draw that. So you get one square, four squares this side and one and And then you get two squares this way. And here another square here. So you get, this is, we can draw another line here. This is the other square. So you get six squares. So that's a net to make the cube. What about this one, second one? You can fold it here, here, and then put it around. So you can make a cube from this as well. So how you draw it? Three squares this way, like the letter T. And three squares down. So one, two, three, four, one more, one more square down. So here, I draw it properly here, here to here. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a, another net for make the cube. But when you take this one, it's difficult to fold and make a cube. So you can fold it here, but this one, you can't fold it. It's difficult here with this arrangement. So you can't make a cube with the third one. Write down two solid objects which take the shape of a cube. We discussed before, a die. Die means one. Dies means two or more. A die, normally a cube shape. And soup cubes, have you seen soup cubes? Normally soup cubes also cube shape. A portion of a net that can be used to make a cube is given in the figure. Complete the net and draw it in your exercise book.
Okay, so we'll try to draw this and then try to complete it. So two squares, two, two. Then you get another square here and down. So you get three squares here, two here. Now we have to draw the other one. So you need to draw the other square. So here you can draw it here. I'll take the ruler. This is the extra square we have to draw. So think about this one. If you take this one as the base, so you fold it along this and then here you put it up. So this becomes the upper face. This is the bottom face and this is side and when you fold it, you get the other side. So you get how many? Squares one, two, three, four, five, six, six squares are there. Draw a suitable net to prepare a cube of side length three. So we'll take one square, one centimeter. So how many squares you need? You need three by three squares. So we'll take one, two, three. One, two, three. Three by three squares. One. Then another square. Here. Two. Then three. Four. Here we get now one, two, three, four. So you need another two. Three by three squares. Five and six here. So this is a this is a cube shape. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cubes are there. One six squares. One, two, three, four. You get four, five, six. Six squares, each square three by three, three centimeter into three centimeter. Exercise 17.3. Name five objects that you can observe in your environment which take the shape of a cuboid. So we discussed before matchstick box. Matchstick. Then bricks, bricks you get cuboid shape. So what else? Pencil boxes you get pencil boxes rectangular shape. Shoe boxes normally cuboid shapes. Shoe box. Three, four. What else? What are the other? Concrete, sometimes. Concrete blocks also. You get cuboid shape concrete blocks. So those are cuboid shapes that we see in our environment. Draw a figure of a cuboid in your square, ruled exercise book, a cuboid. So you need to draw rectangles now. We'll take two by three or something. A rectangle like this. And you get another rectangle. Three, one, two, three, four. Four rectangles, and we can 
take a square here. Two squares. So you, when you fold it, you get a cuboid here. So write down, measure and write down the length, breadth and height of the cuboid that was drawn. So if I take three squares, means three centimeters. This is three. This is two. Here I took two squares, two centimeters. So all these three, three and two. So when you fold it, you get a cuboid like this. So the rectangle is here. So three centimeter length, breadth is two. And height becomes this length. That's also two. I took two centimeters. So in my cuboid, what's the length? Length is 3 centimeters. Breadth is 2 centimeters and height also 2 centimeters. Write down the length, breadth and height of the cuboid that can be made with the net in the figure. So here, when you fold it, we get something like this. And here, this becomes the length, 15 centimeter here. And then, here, this is 4. 4 becomes the breadth and the height. That's the height. Here, yeah. this is 6 and we know this is 4. So, what is the height? 6 minus 4. You get 2 centimeters there. So, what's the length? Length becomes... 15 centimeters, breadth is 4 centimeters and height is equal to 2 centimeters. The figure illustrates a part of a net drawn to make a cuboid. Complete it and draw it in your square ruled exercise book. So we need to complete this. So you get here 3 by 2, 1, 3 by 2, 1. That's good. So two sides are okay. This one and this one are the two sides. But we need a side like this. So we need to complete this. So you get line like this. So now think about 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six. So that's a cuboid. It is required to make a cuboid of length 10, breadth 6 and height 4. Draw a net for the above cuboid and mark its measurements by assuming that the length of one square of a square ruled page is 1 cm. So for that you need to take now for length is 10 cm means you need to take 10 squares. 6 and 4 is the height. So, if you roughly sketch it first, think about you need two sides like this and you need 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Something like this. So length is 10. So we need 10 squares here. And breadth is 6. So that means 6 here. And the height. Height is 4. So 4 here. And this is 10. And what about this? 4, 4. Now you need something like this. So we need to first check 
whether we have to draw this way or this way. Now, if you take this one, this side, so you get this is 4 and this is again 6. So 10 by 6 twos. Rectangles 4 by 6 two rectangles and here this is 10 by 4 two rectangles now when you take this side 10 plus 4 plus 4 18 squares we need I think we can draw this way so we'll start from the corner Six. So we'll keep it four here. Four and four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So here we'll start from th this corner. One, two, three, four. Then four. Now ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then four, so that's one. Then six by four, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six by four. This is the other rectangle. Ten by six now. Ten by six is this rectangle and here six by four one two three four ten by four we can draw it here so here we'll draw this one one two three four four one two three four here So that's, now think about carefully, this one and this one, same size. So that's two sides. So this one and this one, same side. So we need another one like this. So we'll draw it here. No need to draw here. You can draw here. So 10 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 by 6 square. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 by 6 square. No? It's okay. So here, this one and this side same. Now, you get a cuboid. Two like this, two like this and two like that. So, when you take that, so you get length. This is 10 centimeters. So this is 10 centimeters. Here, 10 centimeters. This becomes 6 centimeters here. And this becomes 4 centimeter. That's the height. And this is 4. Exercise 17.4. What is the shape of a face of a regular tetrahedron? Regular. All sides are equal. So, equilateral triangle. What is the length of an edge of the model of a regular tetrahedron that can be made using the net given in the figure? The total length is 8. So we are dividing into equal parts, all our equilateral triangles. So length becomes half of 
eight. So length is eight divided by two. That's four centimeters. The figure depicts a net which can be used to make a model of a regular tetrahedron. What is the length of an edge of the regular tetrahedron that can be made using this net? All sides are equal. So that means 10 divided into equal parts, two equal parts. So length becomes 10 divided by 2. You get five centimeters. Draw a suitable net to create a model of a regular tetrahedron with edges of length six centimeters. Draw one triangle of the net on a tissue paper and using it prepare the net. So what you can do you first create a regular triangle means equilateral triangle with side length six. So you can First, take six centimeter length, and you know how to draw a regular triangle means equilateral triangle. So, equilateral triangle angle inside is 60 degrees. So, create one like this. So, you can trace it using the tracing paper, and then you can connect the other triangles like this. So you get six here. So six, six. So how many faces you need to draw? Four faces, one, two, three, and another one here. So you can draw it properly, I don't, have equilateral triangles here but you have to draw it correctly. So six centimeter length here, here are six. All these sides are six centimeters. And all are equal. So that's a regular tetrahedron you can make with length six centimeters. So here if you draw the 3D one, this is something like this. The 6 centimeter is the length. All lengths are equal. Exercise 17.5. A compound solid is made by placing the cube in the figure on an identical cube such that two of the faces coincide and then pasting them together. What is the name of the solid that is made? We did before. Can you remember? Two cubes together, you get a cuboid. What is the name of the solid that is made? So here I have to write it here. Cuboid. And write down the measurements of the solid. So here, I'll draw it here. So here one cube here, another cube. So how can I draw? So I can draw another cube like this. So here two cubes, each by centimeter length. This becomes 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter, and 5 here. So, what's the measurement? Length, you get 5 and 5, 10. Then the breadth becomes 5. And the height, height is also 5 centimeters. So those are the measurements when you combine two cubes like that. Question number two. A solid has been made by placing two identical regular tetrahedrons together such that two of their faces coincide 
and then pasting them two phases together. For this compound figure, write down the number of phases, number of edges and number of vertices. So here, this is like one here and one down. So this is the, the face that coincide together. So number of faces, can you remember? One, two, three, one, two, three. So altogether six. Number of edges, you can count from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine edges are there. And number of vertices. One, two, three, four, five. So you get one, two, three, four, five, five vertices. So we did this before. So make sure that you attach two tetrahedrons, regular tetrahedrons. Now these are the nets that you need to know to make a cuboid here. So how many faces? Six. So this side and this side equal. This one and this one equal. And this, these two rectangles are equal. So six. In a cube, all sides are equal. All are squares. And this is the regular tetrahedron. You get four equilateral triangle. And here, when you cut these parts, you can paste it nicely. So try to make all these three solids and see. You can see clearly how many faces, edges and vertices. So we covered all theory related to Solids. So what are the solids we discussed in this lesson? Cube, cuboid and regular tetrahedron. So remember, in a cube you get square faces, cuboid, rectangles or squares you can get and regular tetrahedron, equilateral triangles. And remember this, these two you get the same values, cube or cuboid, number of faces 6, number of edges 12 and number of vertices 8. And when it comes to regular tetrahedron, how many faces? 4, edges, edges 6 and number of vertices, you get 